Let's get into that with Matt Whitaker, former acting attorney general. Um, and, and Matt, welcome to the program. I'm going to read this note. It was important to the prosecution that Trump and Cohen created an elaborate scheme to obscure the heart of what the payments to Cohen were actually about. Again, this is going to come down to Cohen versus Trump's word. That's coming from inside the courtroom with Kerry Uban, uh, one of the people giving us information because obviously no cameras. First of all, what do you make of it? Yeah, well, it's good to be with you today, Harris. You know, what I make of it is having tried cases, both as a prosecutor and as a defense attorney, you know, to, to prove a case beyond a reasonable doubt, you have to have it pretty much without holes and that any of these op opportunities or any promises you make on your opening statement, you need to deliver. And I think that's one of the biggest challenges mm. for the prosecution right now is they're not delivering on what they promised. And in fact, every witness has gone to undermine the, the core of their case, which was that these payments were known by Donald Trump to be illegal. Well, first of all, that's wrong on the law. They were not illegal. Um, and so, and then, and then Michael Cohen is gonna be completely uh, worthless to them by the time each one of these def uh, all prosecution witnesses mm -hmm. says, oh, he can't be trusted and he's a convicted liar. Yeah, I wrote down what you said on um, prosecution needs legal deliverables. And, and we've yet to see that. Speaking of which, what is the crime here? Like, I, I'm still trying to dig through and just bottom line it because you don't get a penalty just for being salacious in court. So what are the prosecutors actually pinning all this on? But that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to show that Donald Trump is essentially a bad person. And, and you know, and then everyone that's testified that worked for him or worked with him has said quite the opposite. What they're trying to say is essentially that there were these misdemeanor document um, of falsifications that allegedly happened. They happened in 2017. The election was in 2016, by the way. And then they're saying that that misdemeanor in connection mm. with is the covering it up for interfering with an election, uh, the 2016 election, therefore enhances both those misdemeanors to felonies. Uh, and, and again, I think this is a, a card trick that they're trying to do. It's wrong on the law. It will be overturned, there's no doubt. Uh, one of the things I'm watching next, once all mm -hmm. the witnesses come in, is what these jury instructions actually suggest the law is. Interesting, jury instructions. All right, I appreciate it, and we'll bring you back during the hour as the news warrants. We never know who's going to be on the stand, uh, and it could be any moment for someone that we definitely want to go moment by moment right here on the air with. So thank you, Matt. I appreciate your time and your expertise. Thanks, hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.